guys, it is your host Ali or Cringe Ali, and today is a new start for me because it is season two of the new battle pass for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Let's get right in. Season reward. Unlock the following reward on completion of rank 155 five star general V. Hey, that's pretty code breaker assault rifle. I'm not gonna bother to put the cutscene in here because I don't know if it's copyrighted or not to tell you guys the truth. And plus, everybody has seen it multiple times. It's all over Twitter, it's all over Reddit, it's all over Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, everywhere. Even on Snapchats that are for Fortnite. Anyways, doesn't matter. Don't don't ask why I have them. Apparently, we got a new game mode coming. So we already have our co-op, we got the store, and then we got this classified, which which everybody's saying is gonna be a BR mode. And honestly, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. I cannot wait to smack some kids in a random BR mode. We are definitely trying that. Let's go ahead and move over to the battle pass. Ghost is here, as you guys can see. A lot of people like him, a lot of people don't. I don't care for the story mode, so it really wasn't that important for me. Let's go ahead and buy the battle pass real quick. Let's go ahead and buy the battle pass real quick, and we're just gonna buy the normal battle pass, cause uh, not gonna buy something that's not worth it. This game is great and all, but I can grind for this battle pass. I'm not complaining. I already have to grind this game either way. Battle pass unlocked for season two. We get the freshest unlocks. I don't even need to buy Ghost apparently, which is really nice that they just give him to us. Looking all fresh. Operator missions, Ghost. Use that silence, field upgrade, etc. etc. We're gonna go through these challenges pretty quickly. Yeah, we can do these challenges pretty easily. I was reading through the challenges, but they seem pretty simple and straightforward. I'll get those done. I also heard a rumor, I'm not sure it's true yet. I haven't watched any videos of season two or anything like that, but I heard that the Python has something added to it a Kimbo. Yo! Yo! It's legit! The Kimbo is there! Oh man, this is gonna be toxic. All right, we're gonna have to unlock the Kimbos and of course make a video all about that. It seems pretty easy. It says get three kills in five different matches using Recon Perk, but I don't know why Recon Perk from all perks. We will unlock Recon Perk for it and unlock everything that we need and make a video about it. I do want to see what you unlock at the end of this battle pass just before we start playing games or we even look at the game modes because I know Rust is in here now and I'm really looking forward to it but let's go ahead and go to the end of the battle pass and here are the main ones that you get. So at the end where you get tier 100 you will be getting Ghost aka all the outfit with the hoodie and everything and then the UMP or the Undertaker which which in all honesty looks pretty fucking cool. I can't can't wait to unlock this gun. Can't wait to unlock this gun. This looks pretty sick and I'll be probably running it with Ghost. Hopefully it's as OP as it looks. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ghost real quick when we finally unlock him. He's gonna be looking fresh out the box. Look at that man. Now, let's see what they added onto the playlist. You got Gunfight 3v3 Snipers Only. That's pretty badass. And you also have I have rust issue fast paced sits the sits mosh pit in rust let's get right into this yo rust looks pretty neat i'm not gonna lie i don't know how the spawns are but rust pretty much looks pretty neat i also heard that they made a couple of changes to the perks we're gonna take a look at those right after this game
I don't know if you guys have seen this yet or not, but look at this. Perk balance pass. So they changed up a couple of perks. Let's read what it says. Perks have been adjusted to help create more balanced choices. Perks have been adjusted to help create more balanced choices. Weak and unpopular perks have been buffed. Read the notes in the perk description to find out more about what has changed perks. So they changed up a couple of perks. Let's go ahead and just take a look at it. through them. So for example, double tap now or double time in it now has have a tactical sprint recharge time. So it increases it real quick. You also can do move hacking ability to spotter perk. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll have to try it out somehow. They didn't, oh, they did change one more thing and that's trade slots with overkill perk. So kill chain can trade spots with overkill perk. Now we run down through the middle perk, see what they changed on those. Restock, it says recharge time reduced by five seconds. So it's gonna be way, way faster for it to restock your things. And then we're gonna go ahead and look at overkill as well. It says trade slots with kill chain they also increased charge time reduction by seven percent on tuned up and they also added some to battle harden reduces strength of enemy flashes stuns emps and gas and gas effects immune immune to snapshot grenade this only means one thing it's easy now we can actually use battle harden and not be fucked with let's go down to spotter it says added hack ability as well oh boy guess what they added the call of duty lead cdl hardpoint cdl dumb Domination and CDL search and destroy. You know damn well what squad I'm gonna be running with. Aaron, Javion, and we're gonna get on this. We're gonna play Hardpoint, we're gonna play Domination, we're gonna play search and destroy. Hopefully we can get some dubs and we can make some great content out of it as well. But for now, let's jump into Rust again because I did enjoy that so, so much. It brought back so much nostalgia and I almost cried. Let me know if you guys are enjoying these videos and drop a like down below. Share it with your family and friends. Also, let me know down below what else do you wanna see next? I know I did two parts for the HDR, but I will be making other classes with awful guns And I might even make the HDR the slowest gun in the game and try it on rust or try it on or try it on Any other map like shoot house or shipment where it's a lot messier and a lot more rage inducing yeah.